okay so welcome back to my video so this is biology form 5 so for today we are going to learn new subtopic 6.4 developments of seeds and fruits okay so previous video we already learned about the double fertilization the pollination right so today double fertilizations and developments of seeds and fruits okay so after double fertilizations occurs the triploid endosperm nucleus divides by mitosis and form the endosperm tissue so this endosperm tissue is the food storing tissue which surrounds and supply nutrients to the embryo okay while the zygote the zygote will divide by mitosis to form two cells okay one larger cells and one smaller cells so look at this figure 6.10 developments of an embryo so now here this is the zygote this is the zygote zygote divides by mitosis forming two cells larger and smaller okay the larger cells develops into a suspensor okay suspensor anchors the embryo to the wall of the embryo sac so dia sebagai um, membantu dalam attachment okay anchoring attachment embryo to the wall of the embryo sac while the smaller cell will become an embryo that consists of you become embryo consists of these three cotyledon the plumule plumule and also the radical so embryo consists of these three cotyledon the plumule and also the radical so this is the endosperm so the suspensor is here the suspensor is here suspensor anchor embryo to the wall of the embryo sac the ovule will then develop to seed in the fruit okay in the fruit ovule jadi seed dalam buah okay the integument become two layer of seed coat okay integument this one the integument they become two layer of seed coat so dia jadi seed coat protecting the embryo okay during the developments of ovule and seed the ovary will develop into fruit okay remember ovule develop into seed ovary develop into fruit and the other parts of the flower such as the stigma and the style okay stigma style okay stigma this is the stigma this is the style dia akan degenerate degenerate and leave a scar on ovary wall so this is scar kalau sudah form uh, fruit atau buah so scar di sini ada kan di bahagian bawah contoh ini adalah apa what is this apple kah so di bahagian bawah ada satu bentuk seperti ini so this is scar scar ini sebenarnya daripada itu stigma and style yang sudah degenerate okay so the ovary wall becomes the pericarp of the fruit ovary wall they become the pericarp of the fruit okay so pericarp ini consists of exo meso and endocarp so this is exo exo yang di luar meso yang bahagian tengah ini and endo bahagian dalam lagi okay endo cup right so this is the developments of ovary into fruit after fertilization so this one photograph 6.6 .6, developments of tomato seeds and fruits after fertilization so this one after fertilization the petals fall off the stigma and the style wither away with the layu ah, and the the carpal begins to swell the carpal begins to swell 
the stigma and style degenerate okay the sepals of the tomato plant can still be seen so now the ovary wall will swell in the ripe fruit so this is the developments of tomato seeds and fruits okay so importance of seeds for survival this is subtopic 6.5 so look at this diagram so we have this one sister and this one younger sister what is this younger brother okay sister why does a watermelon have many seeds uh, why watermelon have many seeds and then the sister if the seeds are many the chances of uh, for reproduction to occur is high right okay so here what are human action that aid in the dispersals of seeds apakah tindakan manusia dalam membantu penyebaran uh, seeds okay biasanya kalau manusia okay kita makan and then the seed we throw so itu juga sebenarnya, sebenarnya membantu dalam seed uh, dispersal kan okay so seeds are the structure used to replant most angiosperm to maintain the survival most uh, most angiosperm to maintain the survival we use seeds okay to su maintain survivals of plant species seeds have specific features to increase the chances of reproduction so this is the importance of seed for plant survival the first one seeds contain embryo that germinate to form seedlings Okay, and then inside the seeds, the endosperm tissue or the cotyledon is the source of nutrients to supply energy when germination occurs. Seeds are enclosed by the testa, which is strong and water impermeable to prevent the seeds from spoiling. Seeds can form a dormant structure which enables the seed to be stored for a long time. Okay, dormant structure, the seed can be stored for a long time. Meaning, dia cuma akan germinate apabila keadaan atau, yeah, the condition become uh, favorable. Seeds also have special features such as light, ringan, have spongy tissue, strong and do not spoil easily okay so these features are important so that the seeds are easily dispersed to another place so this also will avoid competition per persaingan okay so that's all for chapter six sexual reproductions in flowering plants we have learned about the structure of a flower we have male reproduction organ that we call stamen female reproduction organ carpal uh, the stamen consists of enter and filament and the carpal consists of stigma style and ovary developments of pollen grains in the enter Okay, microspore mother cell undergo meiosis forming four microspore cell. So the nucleus undergo mitosis, pollen grain with two nuclei uh, produced. And this is the development of embryo sac in ovule. Megaspore mother cell undergo meiosis to form four megaspore cells, three develop and one degenerate. Nucleus undergo mitosis three times and the embryo sex cell with eight nuclei. Okay. Pollination and fertilization. Pollination, developments of pollen tube, double fertilization. We have learned this before. And also the developments of seed and fruits, importance of seed for survival. So this is the summary for chapter chapter six. Okay? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12 verse 30. Thank you.